Don't tell me how to run my deck. In today's day and age, that's something a lot of people must run into with because like with the internet and all these different deck builds, you see all these tournament versions of decks. You know, a lot of people are gonna try to tell you how to run your deck. They're gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't do this, you need to have yours like him, or have you like and that's like something with the net deck. That's the only way to make it work. <laughs> yeah, and that's like something, especially nowadays with like net decks and stuff. That's how those really started to come about. Where it's like, you know, they try to criticize other people's deck. Now, and there's a thing, you know, you can always help out somebody, but there's a border between helping somebody out and then, you know... Pushing your ideas down someone else's throat. Exactly. Okay, my scenario is, you see, I have no problem when it comes to, you know, if you, I feel like if you ask for the advice, don't take it negatively if you ask for help. If you ask for help, that's different. But I feel like if you're just like, oh, my deck is, you know, it could be a little bit better. Well, then you should just do this. Mm -hmm. You see, I can understand if it's just little tips and ideas. Yeah. But never, like, total change. Yeah, like, we're going to recall everything. Recall this shit, because what you're running ain't working. I feel like, you know, that was my fault, because I was just like, oh, help me. And then I just don't like the help. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, it's like there's certain people like that, but we have a friend who, oh, would, it wouldn't, we wouldn't even ask for help, but he would love to throw his criticism at whatever the fuck we're using when he's running some fucking deck. He's either running whatever's the newest thing out, or something he saw on a TV show. <clears throat> I saw it on the show, so don't well, yeah, I'm gonna build it in real life. And he would always like try to tell us all that. He would try to make our decks his decks, or like just you no, know, he would just talk down on our decks in a sense. The only scenario I'm gonna say about that friend was because there were times where me and him would be better than this quote unquote friend, and we would beat the crap out of him in the game, and he literally was not close to us at all, and then went up to us and said, Dude, your deck sucks. Need some reason. Why are you running this? You totally need to take this out and put in and he really told me to add trash. Yeah, really crappy cards in there. So he can beat us. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, that he can beat yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. And then I kinda told him turn to the turn, what point does this serve? Yeah, but if you combo off with this card with these extra three cards in this once in a blue lifetime scenario that you'll never, you know, never get out. But I just like, well, John, maybe I want this because it's a little bit more consistent and easier to play. Yeah, right. When would that ever help? He loses. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, then you would lose and like, ra see, this is the thing when you can rage quit in the internet. Rage this guy would really, life. he's a rage quit in real life. There's not really a problem when it comes to criticism on your deck, something like that, because you're going to hear at one yeah. point or another, everybody's going to try to critique your deck. Or if you try to ask for help, because everybody's looking for tips to want to make their deck stronger, make it better, or whatever may have you. But this one time, you know, where it's not really acceptable. When you get that one person who comes at you and tries to tell you that the deck that you made and that you believe in, that you know the strategy on, that you made this original deck in a certain way, because you like to use it a certain way he wants to tell you no well because you know what's a scenario that I'm gonna say along with this is you when you talk to me about my decks the reason why that's bullshit is because I give you tips but remember this man took like a fucking eight month hiatus and he didn't know what fucking pot of duality did, solemn warning did, any fucking hand traps, he didn't fucking keep up to date. So I was just like, dude, you know, to be up to date, here are some more recent cards. Fuck that, Anthony. I just want, you know, my way of using my deck is I don't like to go with the meta. I like to make sure that I have cards to stop the meta. But they made extra cards and stuff. Nah, uh, Anthony. The old shit will do it. Fucking seven tools of the bandit will stop fucking. I never had seven that. Seven tools of the bandit will stop Solomon. I never, I, I, I've said that, but I've never had the seven tools of the bandit. I'll I'd rather use a dark bribe. But. I'll use seven tools of the bandit. They pay two thousand, I pay one thousand. <laughs> Who really wins? Who really wins? Not them. <laughs> I guess like like the summary is if you ask for help. Just, you know, be prepared. Yeah, be prepared for actual criticism because some people really don't make that so great. So, but, but. and another thing is that don't try to run up to somebody and try to tell them how to run their deck. They didn't ask for your opinion, don't give it. 
I feel because the situation is Unless just like, like me and Spidey. We have one of our favorite decks for both of us is me. It's Constellers and him. It's Exams. We don't run average. You see, an average Constellar build, since it's all light based, it's easy to throw chaos into it. But I don't want chaos into it. Yeah. I don't want chaos. I want mine purely based off Constellas, and the way I'm basing it is all defensively protecting Pleiades. But your way of Sixams, you run old Sixams, and you like to throw your own side of chaos into it to make it nice. Okay, now, this, the situation that kind of makes me laugh is I would never want someone to say, hey, dude, um, your Constellar deck needs to be modified and turned into a chaos. Chaos, Constella deck, Spidey. You need to drop all those crappy chaos. Um, yeah, like, you need to get rid of those shitty you, regular six sams. You, go straight to use all these fucking all of the legendary six sams. You need to go a little up to speed, yeah. and then we'll look at that guy and just say, "Fuck you." <laughs> I would say, "Fuck you." I just like, oh really? Oh really? Give me, give me a second. Yeah, I, I, let me write down everything. It's just like, okay. then I'll just like have a turn around. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> also, is this how you spell it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Fox Street North Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Comment, so, rate, subscribe, tell us how you feel. If you share it with your friends, nobody cares about sharing it. But I'm actually curious to see what people say because I have had people telling me, criticizing my decks, and telling me how to run my decks. I'm curious to see if anybody actually, you know, yeah. has had a similar scenario where people say, "Hey, you should do this," blah, 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 and I'm like, "No." No. Nah, son. Nah, son. But yeah. I'm so, again. also, if anybody likes this, we'll continue to make more videos like talking about, like, you know, just random Yu Gi Oh topics like this. You know, thumbs up here. We got 50 of these likes. We'll make another one like this. Yeah. Like so. it, share it, tell all your Yu Gi Oh friends about it. Subscribe I'm pretty sure. to the cult, which is underground. <laughs> the cult that is underground.